Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the first of the Warhammer 40k Imperium Magazine painting videos that I'm going to do. Um, this is my first Space Marine that I've painted in a very, very long time. But before we jump into everything, of course, if you like these type of videos, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please drop a comment down below. I love hearing back from you guys. I would love to know what Space Marine chapters you're painting if you're collecting the magazine, or even if you're not collecting the magazine and you collect Space Marines anyway. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear back from you guys, and it goes a massive way to help the channel too. Now, with Imperium Magazine, of course, the first issue, we got that Primaris Lieutenant, and we also got the Necron Overlord as well. Um, I've not painted the Necron yet, but he is going to be in the works very, very soon. And But I wanted to show off um, how I've gone about doing the Primaris Lieutenant that we currently have from the magazine before we get any more of the Space Marines. So, without further ado, let's jump into it and I can finally kind of tell you guys what Space Marine chapter I've decided to paint up. So, let's crack on with it. So, as you can see, I started off with Mechanic Standard Grey as a base coat and I'm layering over with Army Painter Green Skin. Now, Army Painter's Green Skin is the perfect paint from what I've got available to me for the Sons of Medusa paint scheme, which is the chapter that I've decided to paint up from the Space Marines range. And I think it works very well on his Primaris Lieutenant. It's a very nice colour and the way that I've done it makes it kind of stand out and you know, I do, do really really enjoy it. So with that colour scheme to go into all them recesses and to darken certain areas I've layered over with curly green shade which sits in them recesses really really well and works perfectly with green colouring. Now this isn't the be all and end all this is a lot obviously a lot of work goes into these models and this is probably the easiest way I, I could think of painting it. Now, once all that shade is dry, I just layered back over with more of our army painter green skin. Now, it did take a couple of layers on a lot of areas because it's a fairly thinner paint uh, than most Citadel paints are, um, but it works very, very well, and the couple of layers makes it stand out very nicely. It makes it that kind of a bit more of an emeraldy green, which is exactly the colour scheme that you want if you're painting Sons of Medusa. Now, for the Sons of Medusa, they also have white helmets. So I just lay it over with Corax White over a majority of the helmet, but not the entirety of the helmet for this Space Marine as well. And it works very, very well. Adding into the helmet as well, if you layer over with Apothecary White, it sits in recesses as grey. And you can kind of concentrate on painting your other sections. So, for instance, the black parts of the armor that you need to do for the Sons of Medusa uh, with like a bad and black, which works very, very well. And if you use Corvus Black, it dulls down the bad and black as well. So it's not so shiny and reflective as well. Then, for any leather work, I've just used Mornfang Brown. In all honesty, I layered over with Nuln Oil and then layered back over in certain sections with more of a Mornfang Brown to kind of highlight it and bring it back to life. And then a bit of Blaine Bade Brown as edge highlighting as well. And it seems to work very, very well. And I'm quite happy with the results. Now, as you can see, the Aquila in the middle of the chest is also black. So I laid over with a Baden Black, Corvus Black, and then a few little small, high, small highlights with Mechanica Standard Grey. And then onto the shield, I layered over the entire thing with a bad and black. Uh, this works very, very well. It's a very handy colour to use when you're painting up anything that is black. It does work very, very well. Now, you don't have to be too neat because you're going to go back over all the smaller details with, for instance, Retributor Armour, like I am here, and you're not going to need to worry too much about how neat you were with that first layer of paint. Uh, but from then on, for the smaller sections, like the rim around the shield, you will need to try and be a bit more careful. And then, once that was done, I layered over with a bit of Retributor armour over the skulls on the shield. 
this is just to break up the colouring and give it a bit of a different look and make it kind of stand out a little bit better in my opinion um, and I kind of preferred it as well I thought it worked very very nicely in the end on this model and then I just lay it over with Norn Oil as I've said before Norn Oil is a fantastic very very handy shade to have Agrax Earth Shade the next best one probably along but Norn Oil just seems to tick the right boxes when you need something to have that kind of oily sheen to it. Um, it works very, very well. So layer over the entirety of it, all the metallic work, everything like that. Then when you highlight back over it, it will stand out nicely and it won't have too much of a bright edge, which sometimes you want to avoid when you're kind of dealing with anything that's kind of meant to be a bit more da battle damaged as well. And that's it. So generally that is the vast majority of the model done. The smallest kind of um, sections and details, very, very simple to do. So for instance, your scrolls and the purity seals for the kind of the wax that's attaching it to things like the shield and the leg and stuff like that. I've just used corn red and then a small highlight of Mephiston red and then for the actual parchment itself, Wraith Bone as a base coat, use Seraphine Sepia as a shade, and then layer over with a bit of Wraith Bone again to bring it back. And then you can add a bit of kind of a, to make it look like text if you wish to, uh, using something like Corvus Red, Corvus Black, should I say, and stuff like that, and it'll work very, very well. For all your edge highlighting, it is entirely up to you how you want to do it if you want to do it. For the green edge highlighting, I've used Auric Flesh, which is the newer one of the newer paint ranges uh, from the what came out when Dominion came out, and I've also used uh, good old Mechanica Standard Grey as an edge highlight for certain black areas, but I've kept it to a minimum so it doesn't stand out too much. And then it's just a case of the smaller details itself. For, so for the eye sockets in the helmet, I've used Mephiston Red, which works very very well. And for other bits and pieces like on the gun, I've used a bad and black, uh, good old iron breaker, Norn oil. I used a little bit of orange paint in there as well, which is a uh, Vallejo orange as a fine highlight to make it look like it is actually producing heat. And then a bit of a uh, good old iron breaker back over them ridges in the middle just to break it up as well. Personally, I'm very happy with the model. Um, let me know what you guys think as well in the description down below in the comments and everything like that. Um, if you want to show me how, what you've been painting or anything like that, you can join my Discord. It's free to join. There's no obligation to be an active member or if you just want to share the occasional photo or just look at some of the photos that we've got in there. Um, there are some people who are very, very fantastic at painting. Um, and they get told it quite regularly by myself and others in there. And, you know, it's very, very nice to see what they're painting up as well. And I would love to see everybody else's paintings as much as possible because it's really, really enjoyable. And I do love to get some inspiration from you guys. And I would hope that what I paint up gives you a little bit of inspiration as well. Um, but with that, thank you very much for watching. Um, the Necron video will be coming in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. I just need to finalise the paint scheme that I'm going for on it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye now.